today's video. I hope you guys are having a fantastic week so far. Today I decided to go out of my comfort zone and recreate this makeup look that I found on Instagram. So if you want to see how I got this look, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button at the bottom of this video and we will get right into it. All right, so I went ahead and I put my brows on off camera. I did use the Inglot Black Gel Liner this time because I do want them black. So this is definitely out of my comfort zone. Uh, I don't really do like a lot of like artistic or super like, I don't know. I'm just like your normal cut crease, shadow, normal nudie, like a pop of color on the lip and maybe like a smoky eye, but that's about all you get. So for Halloween, it kind of does take a lot for me. I think this is the first actual Halloween look video I'm doing. So what I'm doing is I'm recreating a look that I found on X Twee's Instagram. I will link it down below and also the YouTube video that I found that she did on it down below. But this is the look we're going to try to achieve here. And she did say in her Instagram video that this was not her original idea. She had got it from another influencer, which I will also link down below to make sure she gets credit. I don't know her name. Um, but she kind of did her own twist and take on it. So I'm gonna kind of do that too. But we're gonna just go ahead and jump in and get started and hopefully this turns out really well and you actually see it and I don't hate it and delete it. So in the video she went ahead and did her contour underneath the foundation and the reason she did this is because it gives more of a like I guess look like it just makes it more chiseled and you can look a little bit more. So I just haven't really been into the Halloween -y mood I guess and I don't really know like how many people are actually going to be participating around me in Halloween but I figured I would try to recreate this beautiful look so I'm gonna go in now and just do the concealer so when you're doing a Halloween look you don't have to really worry about being cakey because it's Halloween so like everyone is going to look cakey crusty musty um, because it's Halloween so if you're recreating a look or a look similar to this and you feel like you put too much on, you probably didn't, you're fine. All right, so I'm gonna go in with my ABH foundation on a brush and I'm just going to cover everything I just did. You can use a beauty blender if you want to, but I feel like when you're doing something like this, you really wanna be able to blend it all together seamlessly. So I do recommend using a foundation brush. Okay, so I had to take that headband off because it's just sliding like all over the place and I'm just trying to get this color on. So I've been playing a lot of uh, World of Warcraft lately on my computer and just having like a lot of fun with it. But what I've noticed is like, I get lost in how long I've actually been playing and I'm like, oh my God, do I really just play for like two, three hours straight? And like I play out usually after the kids go to sleep. So on the weekends, like I, I played yesterday until four in the morning. So I'm just throwing that out there. All right, so we're going to set our foundation. We're actually gonna set all of it, your whole face. My brows look so crazy. And I'm using the Milk Makeup Blur and Set. My brows look so crazy because I usually do not do such a dark color. I'm patching on that found that concealer really 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 stuck to my dry patches under my eye right, now that we are done with the face we're gonna move into the eyes I do know that she used the Morphe and James palette um, I may or may not be using that I don't really know yet but I do know that I will be using so I got a ton of of loose pigments and water activated liners neon pastel I got a ton of them so I will definitely be using those in this look just to kind of do like a review-esque of it to just see like look at this oh my gosh look at, that's neon so I'm just gonna go pink and blue like uh, Twee has in her video I really did think about doing just the black and then putting the neon, but I think it's gonna look way too smoky, I think, for my eye. And I'm just so uncomfortable with doing this as it is. So I'm gonna be going in with the red in the palette at the top, and I've already put like my concealer down. Well, I actually used the P. Louise concealer, but I already put that down, and I'm just going to be bringing it up 
and out. So I'm going to fill it up to my brow as much as possible and fill it out. But first I want to lay the color. So I'm just going to lightly. Honestly, you could probably dab this if you wanted to give more pigment to it. Sorry. I don't know why I just like stopped talking. So then on the other side, I am going to go in with this dark blue right here and add it just like I did with the red. I have actually barely used this palette. Um, not that I don't think there's anything wrong with it. It does have a lot of kickback. It is pretty pigmented of a palette. I think it has a lot of colors. So if you have this, like you're set for a lot of looks, I just don't grab for it. So I'm going to go in, in the video she went in with this one, this one, and a little bit of the white. I think I'm just going to go in with this color and maybe a smidge of the white. And then I'm just going to blend the blue out and then I'm going to be going in with the hot pink and the light pink and blending that side out. That is the one thing I do really, really enjoy about this palette. I feel like I can do a lot of mixture of colors. So like for instance, I just dabbed. Just a little into that blue and then a little into the white and I'm gonna just do it because I really want to get this like in here so we're bringing that color out and all the way up I know that the one girl who did the original look glued down her brows and did it that way with no brows and I feel like that's probably what I should have done because it would have been an easier way to just make this out instead of trying to follow my brows. So I'm gonna go in with hot pink and also into the white. I don't really know what color she used, but that's the one I want to go with. I'd have to look back to see how she did the pink side, but I feel like I just like the hot pink look with it. So the hot pink in the corner, a little bit of the white mixed together. Okay, so she took hers out like a wing. I have actually just decided to opt out and just make it circular. I don't know why. I just did not feel how the wing was coming along at all. All right, so the next thing that she did was she went ahead in with the black to deepen up the crease. She said just a dab of the black and then blend a little with the red. And then you're just going to go in here and deepen up the crease. You do definitely want to deepen the crease so it looks more, has more depth to it than just the red circle. But it's not adding too much black and I also dipped it in that red to give it more color so the black wasn't taking over the whole look. And then I will literally just go back in with the red and just go over it. Doo -doo. Just have fun with it. It's all that matters. Halloween it's makeup all right so now I'm gonna go in with a black just dab it in that black and with the same blue the dark blue and I'm just gonna deepen this one up too so just getting it a little bit deeper a little bit at a time I don't go crazy with black because sometimes if you do too much it's too late so she does switch it up and she puts red under here and blue blue under here so I am going to do that but I think I'm gonna do hot pink and hot like that bright blue so instead of the red and blue I'm going to be doing pink and blue so I'm just gonna switch it up a little so I'm just gonna place the color there right now but then I'm going to be blending it down because I want it to have more of a creepy vibe so just a little bit of that lighter pink and buff it over into here Woo! okay it's turning out pretty okay it's a little a little bit different than what I expected or wanted but I'm just gonna look like a clown ah, see what I did there I know lame I know I know all right so this is what we have so far hmm it's not it's okay it's fine it's not done yet okay so I am gonna go ahead off camera real quick and cut my crease um, I'm going to be using the P. Louise base and it's going to be in zero. It's the white one. Um, and I'm going to cut my crease extremely higher than I would usually do. Okay, so I went ahead and I did like a half cut crease, but I made it like really high so you could still see the white. 
while my eyes are open. Um, I also added some black and pink on this side and some blue and pink on this side. I have something in my eye. Okay. So I am going to be going in with this ooh, UV liquid liner. I think I'm going to do yellow like she did in the video. Alright, so I'm going to be going in with the Glamour Cosmetics UV Luxe Liner, and this is in electric yellow, so it is extremely neon, and it is water activated. So I'm just going to dab into some water, and then pick up some of this color. Hopefully it's bright enough, if not, I will go into a pigment. So far, it's okay. Okay, so this is not really working for me. I'm going to try to get a pigment, a loose pigment. Okay, so I did get a neon yellow loose pigment pigment from them. So I'm going to go ahead and use that instead of the liner. It just wasn't coming out the color I wanted it to. Oh my goodness. Ah, it's making a mess. And I'm just going to dab some into the lid. And I think I am going to do orange on the other side, which is what I believe she did. Let me take a look. Okay, so she did do yellow on one eye and orange on the other. Oh, it's so bright, but it's so messy. Hopefully. And just with the pigment, I'm just placing it. I'm just dabbing it. So I can make as little of a mess as possible. So it cleaned up really nicely. Um, the pigment color off my face. I didn't have like a big yellow smear. Which was my nightmare. I thought I was going to have a big yellow smear. However, I will tell you this pigment. Or loose pigment is like really sticking to every patch I have on my eye. Like it's just so... Um, like, patchy. It's patchy. The lid, like, came off in here. I've never used these before. I've had them for a long time. And I just haven't used them. I got them three months ago. And I just never really used it. Because I have not gotten around to needing neon loose pigments. But, so I'm kind of glad I have them now. However, they make an awful mess, so... You are not prepared to clean up after loose pigments. It's a hard pass. Look at my hand. It's like all over my fingers. But again, another very, very bright color. I love it. Also, this brush is way better. More of a fluffy, dense brush. And we're just going to... Okay, so now, oh, I made a mess. I made a mess. A mess and a mess. Yes, I did. Alright, so now I'm going to go into the corners and I'm just going to try to clean up the blending part there to, from where the half cut crease ends. And now we're going to move on to the white liner. I'm going to go in with the Glamour Cosmetics white liner and I'm just going to line over the neon that I just placed. I'm going to wet my brush and this is the Laura Lee Los Angeles liner brush. It is the L20. I'm just going to go right over what you just did. I don't know if I am not using these liners right but this is not working out for me at all. It's just not. And I'm going to go ahead and do this other eye the same way. Okay. Moving on. Moving on. Okay, so now I'm going to take a black liner and I'm just going to line the top of my eyes. I'm not going to wing it. Just because we have a lot going on over here. Okay, and this liner is the Kaja Wink Stamp. But I actually don't use the stamp. I just like the liner because it's so black. 
and that like water liner is not working for me so I'm just doing it with this okay and I'm just going to be going into my waterline with a black liner just to smudge that so now I'm going to be drawing the star things at the top of my eye and then we'll continue the rest of the eye so it looks like she has one at this tip and then two over here so I don't think I can do this the right way it's just so black it works out so perfectly I feel like the same thing that would happen with winged liner just happened with my thing it just spat it's ah, ah, ruining this it's fine I did not think that this was gonna be as hard as this is and then I think I'm just gonna bring one down here and it looks like she has black tears coming down her face two on each side so big ones here small ones here oh god so I feel like this is not going to be the way road I want to go I'm going to use the Inglot liner just because I feel like I have more movability than with than with the um ink liner so it's like down and then okay. Ooh, we've done it. That is not what she did. I'll have to make it bigger. I'm just gonna do like the little lines for right now. So I'm gonna put these on and then I'll be right back because I'm having some serious issue. Okay, so these were actually a lot harder to do than I thought they were gonna be. So now I'm just going to be going in with the white um P. Louise base I was gonna do white liner to kind of give like the tears more of a round effect but I decided to use the P. Louise instead just because I feel like it is a better quality like this took a lot to get that pigment of white and I'm just gonna add a little curl here da, da, da. This was really hard to actually do. Like I did not, I knew it wasn't gonna be easy, but I feel like I am extremely stressed out now. So I think that's about as good as I'm gonna get with the white. Um, like it's also just not picking up. It's kind of picking up a little bit gray. So if you have a liquid liner that's white, try that I know she tried NYX she was using NYX in her video so maybe that one's better but it just gives it a little bit more dimension to it we're gonna move on now so she did a heart nose I'm moving on to the nose part by the way um I'm not gonna do the heart nose I'm just going to do a hot pink circle around my nose and come around town and also I feel like the circle is going to be a lot easier to do. And then I'm gonna literally go around it with black liner. So I'm going to actually move my mirror here so I have a little bit closer of a look. Sorry if it's blinding you, but this is so hard to do with a mirror far away. And I'm going to go around that circle and just outline it, okay? Now that I have that, I'm going to go in with a little bit of that white again and just do a little right there on the face. I'm like, I have so many brushes here, it's not even funny. Bow, bow. And now I do know that she has um, a bunch of dots like placed, so I'm going to do orange. Um, I'm going to do green and yellow those are the three I'm gonna do and I'm just going to use the end of this Laura Lee Los Angeles brush and these you can just place all over they don't have to be in a specific spot from what it looks like and you're just going to coat something round I think she had something else but I don't so I'm literally just going to go boop boop and just 
just make sure when you're doing it, you complete the circle. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to the lips. Uh, the brightest pink that I have, or at least I think I have. Ooh, it's not the same though. Hmm. I think I'm going to go with this one. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to move on to the lips. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to overdraw my lips just a tad, and then I'm going to outline them with black liner. Okay, so I am kind of glad that I went with that color because it is also bright. It's a little bit different than the color that I have on my nose. My lips were not really giving me that neon vibe that I wanted, so what I did was I put that neon color from my nose right in the center here and then just to brighten it up just a little bit more. Okay, so what she did was she outlined in the video her lips and then kind of made them come out like a clown would. So I'm just trying to clear up a space because I'm gonna bring my camera in, or my camera. I'm gonna bring my mirror in one more time to give me that closer. So this is gonna be so hard and I know it. <sighs> It's harder than you think it's going to be because the problem is it's black. So if you mess up, it just doesn't. So I'm just lining it and now I'm going to bring up some smiles. I'm probably going to do that off camera and then I'll be right back on just because I'm having a hard time doing this and I don't want to be here all day. All right, so I'll be right back. All right, guys, so the mouth turned out different. It, it did. Um, not really sure what happened, but I struggled. So this is the creepy Halloween clown mouth that I came up with. But I'm going to go ahead off camera, fix my hair, and put on my lashes. And then I will be right back to close it out for you guys. Alright guys, so this is the finished look that I recreated from Twee. I tweaked around and changed like the mouth and the nose and a few other things that I just didn't care for how they were or how it looked um and I just wanted kind of like a more scary look and if I wanted to I could do like this right in front of my face or however I want to do it but I hope you guys enjoyed this look this is my first ever Halloween look so please do not be too terribly harsh on me but I hope you guys liked it and I'll see you in the next one bye